Hello everyone. We will continue the topic function module. And in the previous video, we run the function module independently. It is working fine. We call the function module inside the program through pattern button. We put a loop on the return internal table, which returned from the function module. And we displayed the output using write statement. Now I will run this program and we will get a runtime error. Now, whenever I will run this program, we will get a runtime error. Firstly, we will get the runtime error. Then I will come on to that, how to resolve that runtime error. And most, most important learning, if I will say, among all the points, this will be the one of the most important point. So what I will do, I will run this program. I will give some input to the program. Suppose I'm saying order number one, two, five, I'm executing. And have you seen, I got a runtime error, but the error is saying, there's a type conflict when calling a function module. It means there is a type mismatch error and it will show you where the type mismatch is. It is clearly, clearly telling you that SONO is not compatible with S underscore ONO. Firstly, we will go to our program and we will check where S O N O and S underscore O N O is there. I will go to the program. I will display this program. The error is clearly saying there is a problem with this function module. This is the function module which we are calling. It is saying S O N O, S O N O is not compatible with S underscore O N O. It is saying there is a type mismatch error between S O N O and S underscore O N O. Now, just firstly, we will understand why, why there is a mismatch error. Firstly, I will check S O N O. Here it is exporting it means in the function module, it will be the part of importing. We have written S O N O type table type. This table type has a structure type of how many column? Four column. It means S O N O is a internal table of four columns. Now I will come on to S underscore O N O. S underscore O N O. Yes, it is a select option. Select option is also a internal table of four column. Now the question comes. This is a internal table of four column. It is also a internal table of four column. Then why, why I'm getting a type conflict error. I will just go to debugging mode. And fully most, most important point will come. There's a very, very small thing which we need to do. I'm putting a break point and I will show you in debugging. Most important point, extremely important point. I've passed the input one to five. I will go to desktop three. This is our input. This is our input. Is this a select option? Yes, select option is a internal table. Now the question, it is a internal table with header line or without header line? It is a internal table with header line. Your work area, your internal table name is same as that of work area. Just see you are passing or we are passing work area, we are passing internal table, we are passing work area. 
because if we want to pass a internal table the brackets are compulsory compulsory that's why the runtime error is coming but sap is saying you are passing a work area to internal table select option is a internal table with header line so if you want to pass a internal table you need to use the bracket extremely extremely important point and because of this many times people will receive the runtime error so we can simply simply resolve this error now we will simply put the brackets so i will go to sc38 transaction code now we will simply simply put the brackets here this is a internal table previously it treated as a work area that's why when we started that topic i put so much stress that select option is a internal table with header line now i will put the breakpoint and show you there will not be any runtime error i am running i will go for the input now i am on ninth number line if i want to go inside the function module you can see now this is the internal table this is the internal table internal table we are passing to internal table here it is here s o n o is exporting it means whenever we will go inside the function module s o n o will treat as importing so this whatever we are passing it will pass to what s o n o now i want to go inside the function module so i will do f5 you can see now i am inside the function module and s o n o is what we passed from the program now we will not go for proceeding further we we'll simply simply execute now you all know if you want to come out you can go for f7 key f7 is return whenever you want to return back to the original position in the debugging mode you can do f7 yes this is a very important key whenever you lost somewhere in the debugging mode and you want to come back to original position always do f7 we have a separate playlist where you can understand f7 key in detail just as of now i am doing f7 to just come out from the function module now you can see lt final will return the output to lt underscore output and you can see we have 13 records in the internal table and this loop will continue 13 times and we have the expected output there is no runtime error the most most important learning in this video is select option is a internal table with header line so if you want to pass the internal table please please never forget to pass the brackets because once you pass the bracket only in that case sap will consider that as a internal table now what is the summary of the video in this video when we run the program we got a runtime error that s o n o is not compatible with s underscore o n o then how we resolve that error we understood in the debugging mode that select option is a internal table with header line so work area is same as that of internal table we were passing the work area so if we want to pass the internal table we need to use the brackets and just we check the output and the program is working fine so that's it in this video thank you